between 1998 and 2015, 16.4% of those people in the Canadian Armed Forces had came down with post-traumatic stress disorder. Ray Ramses, the chairperson for the Lethbridge Military Museum, says the temporary exhibit is called Shell-Shocked, the Long Road to Recovery, and it was loaned to the museum from the Canadian Centre for the Great War in Montreal. It's a great opportunity to talk about a, a subject, although it starts in with the history in World War I, it's very relevant to today's world as well. And you think of what's going on in Ukraine right now and the impact that that's going to have on hundreds and hundreds of uh, soldiers uh, in that country. According to Anthony Lapthorne, the battery sergeant major with the 20th Independent Field Battery, he deployed to Afghanistan in 2007. Lapthorne told us there are a wide variety of triggers when it comes to PTSD. They developed developed stuff that were like, okay, I re react to different things differently than I used to. Or little things like, I mean, let's, I'll use this. You go into Burger King, somebody's complaining about onion rings, and you get upset about it. And you don't know why you got upset about that. Just little things like that, or like what core triggers. Major Robert Mien, the commanding officer of the 20th Independent Field Battery, says there are supports and programs for soldiers who are battling PTSD. Within the military, we have, of course, our veteran affairs. We have, within the military itself, we have our, our medical establishment and, our, and so if our soldiers are suffering trauma, they can reach out to the chain of command and through, uh, through veterans affairs and getting the support that they need to, to deal with this trauma. So that's, that's one, but also your doctor. You know, you, a person can go to the doctor and, and explain what's happening to them. They can refer you to, to get help. Um, and so there are a lot of actual supports now that we've never had. The Lethbridge Military Museum is open Wednesdays from 12 to 4 p.m. And the exhibit will be on display until October 4th. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.